Hello everyone. First of all, wishing you all a very happy new year. Today we are going to learn how to perform division in decimals. So uh, before start solving our problems, we should remember few things. Uh, like there are some key points which we should which we should remember. The first point is divide it as whole number. This means we should consider any decimal number as a whole number. We'll divide as we are dividing our whole number. The second point is we will put decimal point in the quotient just above the decimal point in the dividend. I will explain it when we have some example. And the third point is divisor should always be a whole number. If it is not a whole number, then we should convert it by multiplying 10, 100,000. One more thing, when we multiply by 10, 100,000, we'll multiply divisor and dividend both. So let's start uh, with some examples. We'll learn through some examples. My first example is uh, divide a decimal number with a whole number. Suppose I have an example. Divide 12.034 by 8. We all know this is whole number. Now we have to divide it. One more thing I want to repeat it again. We all should know that this is the thing is called dividend. This whole answer. This one is remainder and this one is quotient. Okay, I hope you all know this very well. Now, we'll solve our problem. We know that this is dividend and this one is divisor. So, how will we solve it? Let's start. 12.034 now we all know that we'll have to start first is it it is not divisible by 8 so we'll take the second one 8 ones are 8 and 4 now the process is this number should drop automatically 0 here but in between there is a decimal so what we'll do we'll put this decimal in our quotient this is the second point as i told you we'll put our decimal point in our quotient. So now we'll drop this number 40. 8 fives are 40. Now there is no. The next number will drop it. 3. Now this is not divisible by uh, 8. We all know that. So I have to drop this one. 4 for this. I'll have to take this. Now 8 fours are 32. Now there is two. Now one more important thing while performing this operation, uh, we know that or we should uh, understand this thing. When there is a decimal in quotient, we can put as many as zero in our problem. Like I can put a zero here because I have put one decimal here already. We, I don't need to put any uh, extra decimal or extra zero in our quotient. We can directly put our 0 here. So, 8, 4, 16. Again, 8, 4. Now, again, I can put a 0 here. 8, 5s are 40. Now, my remainder is 0. So, let us take another example. Uh, divide 54. 4.302 by 3. So, how will we do that? 54.302 by 3. We all know that. 3 ones are 3. We will carry 2, 4, 3 eights are 24. Okay, now we will drop this digit, but there is decimal. So, what we will do? We will put this decimal in our quotient. So now we'll drop this three. Three ones are three. Now the zero. Zero comes here. The second two. So our co 
force shift is 18.10, our divisor is 3, our dividend is this one and 0 to is our remainder. I hope now you will understand how to solve this. We can further solve this problems to get our remainder 0. Now we will take another example where our divisor is also in decimal. So uh, let's take one more example. Suppose this one is 59.211 by 0 0.3. So now my third point where I have told you that our divisor should be whole number. So for this what we need to do, we need to multiply both the dividend and divisor by 10. So 59.211 multiply by 10, what we'll get? As I told you in multiplication of division, uh, multiplication of decimal, what happens? This decimal comes right side. So 59, 2.11. And what if you multiply by 10, we we'll get this one here. So 3. Now our divisor is a whole number. So now I will solve our problem. How will we divide? We will divide 59 2.11 by 3. Now my problem is this one. Divide 59 2.11 by 3. So now let us solve this one. 592.11 by 3. 3 ones are 3, 2. And now 9 are 27. What will get 2 here? Now the third 2. 3 7 are 21. 1. Now we can see that here is a decimal. For the next, in between these two numbers, there is a decimal. This decimal comes in our quotient. Now we will drop another number. 1. So 3. 3 is a 9. We get 2 here. Now the next one, again 1. It's 3. 7 is a 21. So my now my quotient is 190. 7.37 and my remainder is 0. I hope you all understand how to divide when we have our dividend in decimals. How we will learn how to solve division of a decimal by 10, 100, 1000 etc. Like if I have uh, <coughs> decimal number and I have to divide by 10, 100, 1000 then how can we solve in a quick way. So, unlike multiplication, in division, the decimal points move toward the left according to the number of zeros in the divisor. So, let's take example. If I divide 543.21 by 10, here divisor has only one zero. So, what we'll do? We will move our point will move our decimal towards the left side. So, uh, like I can say that if my decimal is here and there is only one zero, so the my quotient should be 5 point, I'll move this one one step here as I have only one zero, point three two one. <clears throat> Suppose I have to divide 53 uh, 4 by uh, by 10. So now what? Again this will move one point to the left side. So now my question should be 3, 1. So this is the way we will check our zeros. Suppose I have to divide the same number. I have to divide the same number by 100. Now what will do? Now check here I have two zeros. So what we will do? will move our decimal two digit to the left side. So 
if I'll move two digit to the left side, it should be here 5.4321. So this is my quotient. This is the shortest way to find quotient or shortest way to solve our division of a decimal by 100,000 etc. So we'll check our zeros. According to that, we'll move our decimal towards the left side. I hope you understand how to solve division in terms of decimal.